see people like challenge each other. Right. I, I feel like people take wins too easily nowadays, and it's like, oh yeah, we won, but I'm really just looking forward to seeing, you know, how they play this out. And like, it feels more satisfying too when you're at like a live event and you're actually like, you know, seeing the people you're competing against, and you can actually like. Oh yeah, say, watch that facial reaction. Exactly. Like, there's right. so many times we're behind a screen. It's just. And you don't feel like you take a win. You're like, eh, that wasn't too bad. But when you're like at an event, you feel like it's more satisfying win because yeah. you're there in real life. You're competing in the bracket. Whereas obviously, like in the ranked grind, you're just kind of sitting there, like you're playing, you know, a whole bunch of games, and you're getting you know, ranked. Here, like we have twenty five hundred dollars in prize money. For, That's insane. Like first, first is fifteen hundred, second is seven fifty, third is two fifty. So oh, not only competing for the glory of saying, "Ha, huh, I beat you," you're also saying competing for you know actual money, like three hundred dollars potentially. It's a top dog person. spot, honestly. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what uh, interesting meta picks we have as well absolutely so definitely be something to be looking out for there's a lot of newer uh, Take a good look. newer approaches it's to the, the game last that over the last season have evolved like flex picks sonatar bot lane um, jungle pathing specifically but uh, even the last patch with the new rip scuttler update there was a lot that changed um, but really just looking forward to you know a good day of week <laughs> Good clean matches. Hopefully. So we'll be getting into champ select here momentarily. Until we do that, we also have what do we have? Rocket League. We have Counter Strike. We have Fortnite, obviously Smash is the big one. Oh yeah. Five thousand no. dollars in pop bonuses. We got some like big names that are coming too, so definitely a big event that sorry about that folks. Yeah. We're just having a little bit of a technical A little bit of a technical error. issue over here. Sometime soon. For now. So it looks like we'll be getting into game momentarily here. Not sure exactly when that's going to happen. But. Um, so comes the cost when you have like 250 people in the same true, area trying to stream a game. There we All go. right, here it we looks, go. Here we got. So we got about 30 seconds talking about champ select. So what I'm seeing here, we got a. Vi we got an Ivern jungle, we got a Kaisa in the bot lane, and a Vigar mid. So really good scaling on the side of Papega squad with the Kaisa and the uh, Vigar. And looks like we got a little bit of a mi match up in bot lane. We got Yasuo in the mid. We got, um, not really sure. Maybe that, oh, it's Yasuo ADC with the Tarek support, or Soraka support. I am not sure. So we got a Soraka. Okay, so we got a Rumble top, Yasuo bot with the target we got a soraka mid which i have seen a couple of times uh last couple last couple days i've seen it a couple of times it's definitely something that a lot of people have picked up um not something you'd expect but definitely something that actually scales really well with the team and combined with the target healing is actually going to be massive so it's definitely gonna be something that um the pegasus is going to have to address early and i don't know it's going to be tough gonna be tough for Pepega Squad to get through all that tankiness and all that healing because between the Rumble and the Sejuani, yeah, it's gonna be uh, very interesting. So definitely scaling on the side of Pepega Squad and it's a massive healing, massive tank on the side of Steve. What do you think is gonna happen this game? Honestly, I'm just I'm really hoping to see some action in the bottom lane. Uh, I know that you know most people yeah. are kind of iffy about it, but. Um, Again, like, just really hoping yeah. to see, like, a lot of action, like, in, in the places yeah. where people would least expect it. Yeah, League, definitely League, they def when they trimmed down the ADCs, when they took them all out, they, last year, it, d it changed the game a lot where people didn't really like the fact that you went for, you know, you had to, every game was going to be, like, 35, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, potentially. Now it's cut down to, like, maybe a 20, 25-minute game. Um, the scaling has definitely helped with that, and it helped, you know, shorten the games a bit. Mm -hmm. So... 
I do see possibly a little bit of fighting the bot lane, but yeah, Yasuo does want to scale a little bit, as does uh, Kaisa definitely wants to scale. So over time, that'll... Um, in terms of like matchups, though, like h how are you feeling about uh, so you're gonna the have lane choices? They're not bad. I'm more looking towards the jungle between the Ivern and the Jarvan, or the uh, Jarvan top and the Ivern, because that is really, really good synergy with the snare. Mm -hmm. Snare, knock up, and into the Jarvan ult. So that's going to be deadly in the top lane. Um, jungle for the side of uh, Pegasus is going to be okay. It's, it's got Sejuani, so it's not going to be overbearing. It's not going to be pushing it too much. So I'm hopefully I see a lot of action in the bot lane with that Yasuo Sejuani because yeah. obviously with the Tarek as well, you're going to have a lot of CC down there. So it's going to be tough for that Kaisa to stay alive. Definitely going to be relying on her support to try and you know bring her out of those dangerous situations. But there's... A lot of scaling on the side of Pepega Squad, so if Steve hopes to win, they do have to start bringing the fire and being able to, you know, get an early game lead and snowball that into something where they can end the game earlier than, you know, 30 minutes. Because otherwise, Vigar and Kais are just going to scale out of control. Yeah, so. I mean, in order to have, like, good clean match, you kind of got to... Yeah. Look for the challenge, but also give yeah. your competitors that challenge. You just got to know, know when to go in, know when to get out and uh it's gonna be very important for that Vigar to stay alive because he's he's going to be the one that's doing probably the most burst damage out of anyone mm -hmm. um but that that uh pentagon his pentagon of doom as we call it uh Sounds definitely very shady. it is it is very shady <laughs> but it's um a good zoning tool especially mm -hmm. for characters like Yasuo and like Sejuani who like to you know be mobile move around to fight um that Yasuo is going to kind of be stuck if he goes in against the Vigar because he's going to get stuck in that zone. Doesn't really have anything to get out other than his flash, so it's definitely something they're going to have to watch for. Alright, and so with that, we're... Uh, looks like we're going to be heading into game momentarily. Here we go. Alright. So, what I forgot to mention actually was a Nasus. So, Nasus definitely he got a big buff uh, two patches ago. We got his AP was um, put on Q and R. It got buffed heavily. So he'll definitely be um, someone to watch for. It looks like, yeah. So Kaisa, obviously, you got scaling. Vaga, you got scaling. Jarvan, top lane, good pick as well. Uh, not as popular anymore, just because he got nerfs in the recent patch. Um, but it is still a pretty powerful top lane, especially with that grasp. Is he gonna be able to stay alive against this Rumble? Yeah. Um, Rumble def definitely has the advantage early game though. But I think the most the thing I'm most intrigued to see is definitely the Soraka mid uh, with the barrier. The good thing about that is Vigar does do a lot of poke, but Soraka can heal it up. The problem is the more poke Vigar does, the more stacks you get, which means more passive AP he gains. So as much as the Soraka is going to try and hinder that, it was a good well, last pick on the side of the Mega win. Squad to pick up that Vigar because he basically gets free hits in mid lane. Oh, actually. Looks like the Yasuo is going to actually be going mid lane. 30 seconds until the minions spawn. We got an invade coming in. We got a flash Nautilus. Double flash from now. And Snare land. We're going in on. Tark looks like he might be going down in the first minute here. Ignite thrown down. And they're not going to chase actually. They're going to let him go. Lots of summoning from there. Oh, and Sorok stayed around for too long. Gets left. They're going to try and make it out. Tyson on the flash. Ooh, barrier. Feel burn. There's a lot of summoners burned in the first minute and a half of this game. Wow. That was crazy. Even yeah. before minions? Like so we got a lot of summoners. We got Kaisa flash burn. We got the Nautilus flash burn. Tar flash burn. Soraka flash. Um, Ivern flash for the snare. Uh, no deaths, but a lot of summoners burned. And that means good things for the junglers, unfortunately. Both, the, I'm pretty sure the Sejuani does still have her flash, so it still has that potential. Everyone's on. <laughs> But I am curious how this Sejuani Tarek works out. So that's what you got. Yeah, so we do the Yasuo mid lane, which means the Soraka Tarek is going to be a lot lane. So that's, I guess, a modified Sona Tarek. They're both going to be trying to generate. So the way that works is the support will um, farm for a bit. Mm -hmm. They're going to pick up gold off of okay. So what's happening is Oh, Ooh, I was going to get an early stun. I'll go on all in the Christ and Christ. Start. One more hit. Shield from Soraka. Push again by Nautilus and Tarek survives. So that that sustainability in bot lane is going to keep him alive for a long time. And yeah, Nautilus is definitely doing really well. He's hitting all his hooks. They 
can't kill him though just because of killing that Soraka and Tark died. And also, you can get the Soraka. Kill my Tark first blood. Maybe a second. Yeah, so. First blood over Nautilus, and Kaisa also picks up a kill, 2 0 in the bot lane. And if that bot lane wants to survive, they're definitely going to have to start to dodge with their hooks. Otherwise, the bot lane is just going to kind of snowball and Kaisa is going to go far ahead. And one thing you definitely don't want is the head jump. So there it is, head jump on death. Oh man. I mean, James and Vygar, definitely stay pretty healthy though. Top lane is going to be more of a snooze fest than anything both these characters have with others. Life steal, they're both gonna probably just go around at each other. So for now, probably limited uh But bot lane looks like they're gonna back. They have a heavy, heavy lead in bot lane. Price is gonna be up a lot of farm. And I don't, I don't know about this Soraka Tark. You know, it's not a bad idea, but most of the time you go Sona Tark, not a Soraka Tark, just because Soraka has a decent amount of hope, but she also has a heal and she has speed. So okay. especially against like for example, say if Blue wanted to gank down the bot lane, yeah. Tarek can stun, Sona can speed them out, so they can escape from you know, Nautilus and Hydra, because they have a lot of heavy speed. Whereas a Soraka is too slow and it. Definitely lots of heavy action coming in. Nice five from Vyga, and he takes a power shot, he'll stun, he might die here. He's running to try to make a save. But he's not going to die. Hydra looking for the gank in mid lane, but he's not going to go for it. So, looks like we got a lot of action in the mid lane. You got a flash out of the Vigar. Good game by Sage 1. Yes, it does get the power shot. Follow it again. Obviously, Giant. For another. Ooh, and Tarek. Team 5. He's still alive right now. And he's still out of Some of that was healing abilities. So, definitely ball lane. Uh, this Rumble's kind of just gonna poke it. Jarvan. He's gonna, they're gonna have a fun time up there, but it's gonna be a lot of good farming. Um, a lot of action in the bottom lane. Oh, this rock looks like a knight gonna get the chipper down. Ooh, stay alive. Shark is gonna die though. Put a flash at a rumble. Goodbye, Ryan. So you can jump in there. And he has to stay alive. Nice to watch. Look at the tornado. He has no man, so he can stay there and hope. This rock is gonna stay alive. She overtaken. Welcome. Nautilus not gonna go for the hook, so he's gonna stay alive. Terribly, but they could try and power dive this, but I think they're just going to take away some of that extra gold. So before 14 minutes, there's five points on each turret. Oh, Nautilus misses the hook. The one is there for backup though, so might have been a bait actually, but before 14 minutes, every turret has five plates, so for every plate you get a total of 160 gold. So depending on how many people are there, yeah. you get um, a split between them, right? So like if there's one person there, you get 160 gold, people 80 gold each, and so on and so forth. So definitely when you're already winning bot lane as hard as they are, it's hard for um, it's hard for the bot lane to keep up because you're just constantly, even though you might not be getting a lot of kills because the, so the Soraka Targ lane is so safe, you are going to push that turret, you are going to get turret plates. Which, you know, if you think about it, two, two solo turret plates is more gold than actually taking out a champion. Mm -hmm. So, definitely something to stay aware of. Looks like everyone's in the back and get some resets in the top lane and mid lane. We definitely saw all that heavy action that we were talking about before. So, Still happening in this bottom lane. <laughs> Ice is just going to farm it out. Because realistically, they don't really have to. Uh, Soraka's out with mana, so she's not really a threat right now. They throw a few abilities on this. They have a word in that bug. Uh, able to stay in that bush without being tested, so I'm not really focused out. So, I am worried about the ball in the second squad. It definitely has to be sitting down there. The game is so dark. 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 Rumble is going to stump one more and stun hit. Rumble is going to pull down the gun. I reckon it's going to be like, and he's going to flash out. He's going to double flash. Yeah, he's going to fight. He's going to fight. He's going to fight. He's going to fight. And yeah, so he hits the tornado, gets Big. the Jarvan, and looks like there's no fighting out the top lane, and yeah, goes down as well. So double kill picked up from the Vygar. A lot of action in the top lane. Um, but again, the Vegas Wad does come out on top. They pick up two kills, and or, three kills, and there's only one kill on the side of the scene, so. They do pick up their first kill of the game, but the Vegas Claw does pick up three, and that'll definitely help out that Jarvan in the Vigard mid lane with a double kill on the Yasuo. 
Um, he's gonna push that way. Looks like they're gonna take me. Steal that away from the Sidwani. And that Vigari is really scary in mid now. And, uh, uh, this game is uh, definitely not looking good for the side of Steve. Never hurt things carefully. Well, carefully. unfortunately, unless you get that lead right there in the beginning, it's it's very difficult to come back. Yeah, especially with like the Vigar and Kaisis Young, as I was saying earlier. Something that can't allow you to Good kill onto the Vigar. Ivory does get away, but good shot down on the Sejuani. A little bit extra gold, try and help her back into this game. Smart game by her, coming for the uh, gank of that Vigar comes back lane. So that allows you know, some more gold to go back in the hands of Steve and try and claw back into this game from this deficit there down. They got a couple words in the bush yes, from Bali, so they know where the Nautilus is. They're not going to try and do anything risky. Um, unfortunately, they're kind. What they're playing to do is you got two supports from Bali. Gas is not up here. Almost um, gas is over there. Run, stop. You actually stay okay. So they see this. Ooh, they see this every Nautilus. Flash. This is an actual stun on the ice. Jarvis is going to kill. Heavily in the favor of the Pega Squad. Coming from that bot lane, the 301 Kaisa. Uh, looking to get a Storm Razor soon. That'll definitely accelerate her a lot faster than the Soraka Tarek. And what they're basically doing is they're trying to play the Soraka Tarek around the Yasuo because the Yasuo is going to try and beat Edgar. So they're going to keep him. Their team fight is really, really good with this team fight. Soraka and the Tarek healing the Yasuo carry and the uh, Rumble Pop. They're going to be able to keep the, their carries alive. The problem is if Yasuo goes down, they don't have a ton of damage. The Rumble and the Sejuani are going to do some damage, some of damage, but if that Yasuo gets taken down in a fight early, probably the end of the game. Unfortunately, that's just how things go sometimes. Yeah, that's what it is. Looks like I think Balling's just gonna farm it out for a while. Um, they're gonna try and push for plates soon. The thing is, Soraka does have a lot of clear at this point, so she can actually keep up with the Kaisa, go to the ABC, and not let them get any more plates. I haven't come for the gank here. Ult finally got to play on the top spot. Rumble ult, Sidwani ult as well. Like, Set up in the bot lane. Soraka's gonna get an ult. Trying to go back to her. Kaisa's gonna ult to her. Kaisa's gonna get a Q, and she gets it. Top. Looks like top lane and clean up the Jarvis kill. Nice and for the overall. And Kaisa gonna flash in with the Q, but it doesn't actually execute. Tarek is not gonna kill. And Tarek gets the kill on the Ivory, so actually that was a two for two. Not how Papega Squad wanted that one to turn out. So, yeah. So they get a couple. <laughs> Steve gets a couple kills turned that way. Uh, it was still a two for two on bot lane, so Papega Squad does get the better end of that deal because of their scaling. But it's definitely a win in the books of Steve because they got an even trade, although there was an excellent unfortunately. But um, definitely a lot of something in the bot lane. The Ignite, the Nautilus, the Flash Heal, or the Flash for Kaisa. They're gonna 
super smart play. Nice rip barrel take by Steve, knowing the jungler was nowhere near. So it looks like some more action happening in the bot lane. Kaisa's viral. Kaisa's Q is doing a lot of damage at this point. She has uh, a Storm Razor completed, and she bought an early executioner. That's the best choice against this double kill in bot lane. It's going to be a big impact on uh, how that bot lane goes out. And it's going to cut down a lot of the sustain on the side of... Ooh, it looks like Nautilus and Ivan are going to go for another gank in bot lane. DP coming out of Rumble, trying to help out the fight. Uh, looks like uh, he's still alive on the side of Pega. Yes, we're coming with a big shutdown on Kaisa though. Get booted up, looks like he's gonna do an Tornado landed, just double stunned by the Vigar though. Vigar also gets stunned by Tar, Tar, so he moves down. And yes, we're trying to escape with his life, but still be alive here for uh for Mega Squad and Another skirmish, uh, good TP by Rumble. Unfortunately, it had a very limited impact in that fight because of Ligar coming down. So, Sejuani so stayed nice top team. lane, uh, trying to match that area. So, there was no push out of the side of Papaga that they got other than, you know, a couple kills, which does accelerate the Isa scaling and does help out the Vigar with an assist. But, definitely that Soraka pick, um, not looking too good at this point. 0-4-2. Just uh, not panning out at all. What do you think of this game? Honestly, I think it's a pretty even push from both sides when you're looking at it from a team perspective. Um, but this bot lane... Yeah, it's always happening. So, you guys are looking to hold the charge. Uh, goes down in time. He's actually going to stay alive. Moved by Nautilus. Another stun. Ivern and Fault Lane again, and they clean up the Garp, he's still coming alive, and the Kaisa's gonna finish up the kill there. Garp is going to kill on top lane. Vigar coming down to answer the Sejuani, looks like he's gonna do some nice flash Q to get out of that. Garp is going to fight in top lane, Sejuani is going to try and stay down here. He goes from just going in on the tower. They're like, trying to tower dive, but Yasuo is here as well. Vigar is going to kill the tower. Uh, good ult by Sejuani, not to be able to find the kill on the side of Vigar that he's going to go. The full stacks of Sejuani, but it's not going to be a W to Kaisa. They got four pushes in the box. Sirocco can keep him up for a while though. Barrier by Sirocco to keep her alive. Now, as far as Pega, uh, like if Pega can get this tower, like that's a huge win. Yeah, that is a big win. So, big siege in the bot lane. Unfortunately, Jarvan did win the battle in the top lane. Blue team got their first uh, their turret. Their, uh, Finally got the first top turret. Top lane. Now. I was surprised. I did not so think that uh, the top lane was going to go first. Not at all. With all the little jabbing matches they're having yeah. here. Unfortunately, Omega Squad is still up 6k gold. So there's still a big deficit to overcome inside of Steve. But it looks like they're stopping the back on Nautilus. Uh, Nautilus is going to land a stun here in the corner of the corner. But they're going to poke each other out. Not really much action happening. They, they just want to back. They want to start getting that Kaisa. Start getting those Kaisa items. Start getting her to a point where you can't really take her down. Yeah. So, uh, it was a good defense on the side of Steve. They were able to, you know, pick up a kill and a counter kill. So, and keep their bot turret alive, which is very important for that bot turret. Because as soon as that balling turret goes down, oh, looks like Tark gonna roam up here. Kaisa Ivern on him, and they're gonna go for the Soraka. Soraka is caught out. Burn. She burns her flash. By it. There was a four man, or, yeah, four man dive bot. Uh, looks like they're gonna go for the dragon potentially. Q says wanting to get her out of there. Rumble is gonna push this top lane. They have a rip carol to hit, so they're gonna push two towers here. And they're gonna actually force the Vega off of the off of the dragon. So that was actually big. So even though Steve is 5k behind, they were able to get Pega off the account and they were able to take a turret in top lane and take most of the turret in mid lane. So it gives them a lot more pressure in other places because they did get their bot lane turret taken by Kaisa now. Yeah. So she's going to be able to roam a lot more and she's almost at two items, which means her big power spike is two items where she gets to unlock two of her abilities. So she's hitting... It's definitely, things are looking up for Steve. They do have to close it out as soon as possible, though, because as I said earlier, the Vigar and Kaisa scaling will mean that the later this game goes, the more powerful that Pepega squad will be. 
next objective. They're looking at the dragon. He's just gonna throw out some more. Big game by the Swanee. Ivern is gonna throw out his uh, old friend there. So Swanee in a dangerous place. Able to get out of all the CC. Vygar does it. Big R by him. That. Ooh, flash like ice over the wall. She gets her to half health with one ability, so. Barrier used by her to get away. Uh, card healing doesn't help with that, but the jungler for Steve going down does mean that this is a free dragon again for the Ivor. Fortunately for them, two dragons. Kaisa stepping up a little bit too far here for her own good. Draka looking for the kill on that one. Kaisa is going to make sure that she's going to get the kill before the target all comes down. So, Gasso can be able to do on her own. Tark can pick up the kill. Yeah, big ult by Jarvis. Gasso, I need to get the rumble. And Tark is going to run away. He doesn't play. Vygar is going to pick up another double kill. And with a 7k gold lead, Baron's not up for another minute and a half. They're going to look towards the spot as far as they can. Um, they're only going to pick up one tower from this. But picked up three kills. Uh, lost at least one person. So definitely a good fight for them. And again, because they have two towers falling, they have free to roam all around. As soon as they take down that mid lane turret, they'll uh, take control of this bottom half of the map for sure. And uh, it'll just mean that Steve has to ward their whole jungle uh, as much as possible. I feel like we're seeing a lot of uh, regrouping here. A lot of recalls. Uh, I pulled out a lot of people back. Looks like they're going to try and clear out mid, wait for the next objective to come up. Dragon's not up for another four minutes. Baron will be up in about 40 seconds. The Vega Squad may look for a Baron, but they could also go, I think what they're going to do is push mid, and then they're going to try and, you know, force Sejuani to check around Baron pit, just so that they can try and get them to pick on her as they did in the last Dragon fight. Sejuani has to be smart, she can't fight where she can't take bone, so she so too far, she gets caught. Baron is probably done for them, and that could be the next one. So, that's what we can watch out for. Steve are going to group up mid. So, this is where they are strongest. Steve does have the best chance when they are grouped up as five. They're a very good team fighting team. Yeah, so well, because of the knockup, he's like one. We can combo with that. Obviously, he's on Tornado, we can combo with as well. So. Definitely something to watch out for. I don't know. We've definitely seen both teams pull off some surprising things today. So, I mean, we got 26 kills in 20 minutes. So, definitely an action-packed beginning of the game. But... Everyone kind of meeting back up in mid -game. Steve has to be really careful because they, uh, they can't misstep here or else they, uh, they will probably lose their major and Baron. Be a very hard thing to get back Rumble trying to come to the side, he's going to stop one. And you got Tara coming to the all on the same one. Oh, Rumble falls back in. Big knock up by Yasuo. Good combo by them. Big healing coming out of the side of Steam, and they're actually playing like, they might come back to this fight. Yasuo is trying to go to the back. Doesn't quite get the crits on the Vigar, and it looks like Pega wins that fight. That was a very close one, though. So. Pega does win that fight. They still have four alive. Soraka will do a lot of good. Oh, and she is gone. Vigar R just takes her out instantly. Just the jungler left. Looks like they're trying to take turret, try and go in on her. Um, they're just going to push turrets, actually. Not going to go for the Baron right now. They are pretty low, so it would be a risky Baron take, especially with the jungler still up for the side of Steve. So they're just going to back off, take their two turrets, take the team fight win and say thank you very much. We will uh, take your map control and good luck trying to get Baron. <laughs> and if you look at those scores, 3012 for the Nautilus, 3210 for the Jarvan, 912 for the Vigar. Definitely uh, a lot stronger than the 272074 
One five four from side of Steve and Sal. If they can get this Yasuo unlocked, they do stand a lot better chance. He does need to pick up that IE though. It looks like he's only a little bit of gold away from it. So definitely looking at this Baron as a potential objective, but it looks like they want to push the map a little bit. They are 10k ahead, and they are a scaling team, so it's definitely going to be a lot tougher for Steve to come back into this game. Dragon's going to be up in about 10 seconds. Oh, looks like Rumble's getting caught out in his own jungle here. Just unawares of uh, where the Pega Squad are, and that means a lot easier Baron take if they want to do that. But looks like they just want to push mid for now try to push their advantage. They do have a Mountain Drake, which means they do take objectives a lot faster. It looks like they can try and take their own. Not as one of the Tark. Looks like Kaiser is shooting too far. Soraka ult can come down. Tark ult can come down. Kingfish is only alive for now. Q back, and Soraka and Tark is going to stay alive. He's going to take a lot of turret shots on the Jarvan. Jarvan might go down here. Shield comes out. Ult. Kaiser is going to try and get the Yasuo. Yasuo stays alive. And they're able to balance it. Rumble ult doesn't get anybody. And uh, he's gonna get stunned up and Kaiser him and Vigar is gonna take him out as well. He's going to try and go to clean up with Vigar Double kills coming in here. Oh, yeah, Vigar. And good kill by Yasuo. Both of them get stunned up. Vigar gonna go for the kill. Cleanse coming out of Yasuo. But that was a big kill on Yasuo. Unfortunately, they did lose four people in that process. So looks like Vega Squad's gonna go for Dragon. Not really much Steve can do at this point. Uh, down 20 kills, 11k gold. Um, don't really have any scaling that they're going to have on their side other than the Yasuo. So definitely looks a lot rough. And the Vigar with the Rabidons, Ludens, and 12 kills. Definitely going to be deadly. He can almost one shot uh, the Soraka. So. They're going to have to play this Baron perfectly, or else it could be a potential GG. So. Well, all the good things must come to an end. True. But uh, no, to, to see the Pegaswad really push themselves this far ahead yeah. without even really, you know, attacking you know, their home base or anything. No, there's just no turrets taken on the side. There's one turret taken on the side of Steve. That was in that top lane. It was very early. Other than that, it's been all from Pega Squad all game. So the 20 looks like he's getting caught out here by the anchor. It's and stunned. Yeah, she's gonna try and she'll stay alive for a while, but she's just taken out by Kaisen. Kaisen gonna go for another kill, and Why guys gonna pick up a kill on. So, again, bot lane, jungler being caught out by Steve means that this is a free Baron. Rumble's probably going to go for the CP all here, see if he can steal it, but more than likely he's not going to be able to do anything about it. So, Vegas right, we'll takes it, no contest, and they're going to back, reset, and look for that final push in order to put the game away. Set out of Steve 2. Fortunately, they are down about 14k gold at this point. There's a double mountain and an infernal on the side of Steve. Not very much that they can do at this point. A big team fight uh, where they can take out the Kaisa early and take it. They have to take out the Kaisa and the Vigar very early in a team fight to even stand a chance. But uh, even then, it's going to be very tough because of the Ivern Shields and the Nautilus CC and the Jarvan CC, so um, yeah, absolutely. it's going to be very, very tough to get a pick on this call. Well, I mean, hopefully we'll see some, you know, perseverance from Steve. And so it looks like a push camp here, actually. Oh, they're going to go in on it, and Yasuo gets stunned up, actually. He's going to just die instantly from the Vigar. That was their big carry. Flash, a couple members of Mega Squad to get that to 20. They go all around here as well. Kaiser's gonna pick up another kill. He's gonna go for trying to clean up this Rumble. Rumble's gonna get a last hit. Jarvan gonna clean up the Soraka. Kaiser's gonna pick up the double kill. Absolutely and, attacking these towers. And at 27 minutes, 
looks like it's GG for the side of the Pega Squad. Unfortunately, Soraka Tar's bot lane did not work out so well. And it goes down one last time just for the end. Ace from the side of the Pega Squad, and they're gonna take the first game in 27 minutes and 21 seconds. Final score, 36 to 8. A little bit one sided of that game. Uh, definitely questionable choice on the Soraka Tarek. Not something I've seen 